Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and today we're going to take a look at uh, an optimization problem here where we want to just create our objective function. And our objective function is the function that we're either going to try to minimize or maximize. Um, here we're just not worrying about the minimize maximize part. We just want to work on expressing this objective function in terms of a single variable and they're giving us the variable that they want us to uh, make it in terms of here. So uh, it says a wire of length 7x is bent into the shape of a circle. So if we were to take some wire here, something like this, the length of that we would call 7x. And what we're trying to do is we are trying to take that wire and bend it into a circle like this. Okay, so the entire circumference here, and we can write that down as well. So uh, kind of off to the side, we know that our circumference of this circle is going to be equal to 7x. And we're going to use that uh, to help us kind of solve this problem here. So it says express the circle express the circumference of the circle as a function of x. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to write down, and I'll use c for circumference. So what are we trying to optimize? The circumference of this circle. So what is the formula for the circumference? Well, that's going to be pi times the diameter. Pi times the diameter. Um, and that'll give you the circumference. So we want to maximize this function, but we don't want it in terms of D. We want it in terms of X. <clears throat> so we need some more information here, and we might need to change this formula around a bit as well. So let's go with what we need, we, or what we know. We know that the circumference up here is equal to 7X. And um, so 7X, which is the circumference of a circle, is equal to pi times your diameter, right? Um, so we know that the circumference of this circle is equal to 7x, which is equal to pi times the diameter. The diameter is the length across the circle. So if we just solve for d here by dividing both sides by pi, so I divide this side by pi, divide this side by pi, these will cancel out here. And we're just left that the diameter is equal to 7x over pi. All right. Now, why did we solve for diameter in terms of x? Because that's what it asks us to do. And we need to get rid of this diameter over here. So now, I can write this as pi times our diameter over here, so that's 7x over pi, 7x divided by pi, and that is going to be equal to, the pi's cancel out, 7x, 7x. So that is our objective function here, just c of x, so c is for circumference, is equal to 7x. Not too bad. Now it says the next part express the area of the circle as a function of x. So we have that objective function again. So a of x is equal to, well, what's the formula of a circle? That's simply pi times the radius squared. Okay, well, what do we know? Um, we know we don't have anything solved in terms of radius, um, but we know that we can do this a couple of different ways. We know that instead of using the formula of pi times diameter, since the diameter is twice the radius, I can just replace this diameter here with the radius. So I can go back to that equation there, and 7x is equal to Instead of diameter, I can do 2 times r. I'll put the 2 out front. 
it's usually seen like this is equal to 2 pi times the radius. Now, if I divide both sides by 2 pi, I am going to get that the radius is equal to 7x all over 2 pi. Okay, so this is our radius uh, in terms of x. Again, we can go back over here and we can plug it in for r. I'll give myself a little bit more room here. Okay, so writing the area objective function again. We have a of x is equal to pi. Now remember, we're just replacing the r with 7x divided by 2 pi, so we still have to square that. So times 7x all over 2 pi. And remember, we have to square that. We have to square that. So we have to multiply this by itself. All right, so that's going to be equal to pi times uh, you can square the top and the bottom separately. So the uh, 7x squared is 49x squared, which is 7 times 7, which is 49, x times x, which is x squared. And on the bottom, 2 pi is just going to be 4 pi squared. Because pi times pi is just pi squared, and 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, well now we have a pi squared on the bottom. We have a pi on top, so I can get rid of one of those pi's on the bottom, one of the pi's on top, and then we can write this finally as 49 x squared, x squared all over 4 times pi, 4 times pi. And this is our objective function for area, written in terms of x. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.